everybody. Thanks for joining me today, and let me get right to it. Um, what I have for my base color is two coats of this China Glaze in Secret Periwinkle. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of crackle polish. This one is Cracked Concrete from China Glaze. And I'm just going to do a pretty, pretty thin layer over them. Like this. I'll show you another one more than just one here. And then I'm going to give this a few minutes to fully crackle, I'll do the rest of my nails, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. It's all cracked, mm -hmm. and you can see the contrast and all that now that the lighting's a little bit better. Okay, and now we'll move on to the next step. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to apply some foil. And this is where I found kind of a neat um, deal. I went shopping for Easter basket stuff um, the other day, and I ran across an egg decorating kit that had foil in it. So I picked it up, and I've tried it out, and it's so cool. So this is what this is what the foil sheets look like. Mm -hmm. Like really, it's like about five inches by five inches square, and it comes with all these different colors, and it works just like um, nail foil. So, but the glue that comes with it is terrible. So you're going to have to have either a nail foil glue or something else. Um, this is going to be the one that I'm using. This is Art Glitter. Um, it dries clear. It's an adhesive for applying glitter to like paper crafts and things like that. Um, I bought this actually at a stamping convention several years ago, but I did check out the website that they list right here on the bottle, and they do still have this glue available, and it works really, really well. And then there's also another glue from, I think it's Scrap Perfect or something called Best Glue Ever, which I believe also works amazing too. So anyway, I'm going to apply just a little bit of this to my nails using a regular like just little art detail type brush and what's nice is this this glue goes on kind of white at first so you can kind of see where you're putting it and then it'll dry clear so what we're going to do is just very I'm just going to take a really really small amount of glue which you can barely see here and I'm just going to apply it sort of into a semi-angled, but I don't want it to be a solid layer. I'm kind of putting it on so you can see little strips of it, um, and that's where I'm going to be putting the foil, and I'm kind of doing it on where the crackle polish is. We're just accenting. So I'm going to put this on, put it on all the nails, and then I have to let it dry for maybe a minute or so, and I'll just test it after a couple minutes to see if it starts to get tacky. Once it's kind of sticky, then I'll show you how to do the foils. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foil sheet, and you can cut this down into smaller pieces if it makes it easier to work. The shiny side is the side you want to show. So you take the kind of side that's a little bit duller. Here's one where the glue is a little bit wetter. Just kind of pressing it, rubbing it, whatever, and then we tear it off. And you see that? You've got these neat little sparkles. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back, add some more glue in certain spots, and then I'll give you more of an up-close version of how it looks. Okay, so here it is with a little bit more of the foil on it, and I've just kind of done it up the sides a little bit on, and a little bit at almost like an angle. But see how some of the foil, it actually follows the pattern of the crackle polish, so it's kind of neat, so it's just sort of accented with some shimmer. And I'm angling them down so it goes dark so you can kind of see, but it is quite, quite reflective. So anyway, so then once you've got that, then you can go ahead and just put a layer of top coat over it, and then you'll be all set. Hold on, let me refocus here. Okay, so here are my nails with the foil on them. The key is here to... Um, Wait, don't wait until the, dry, the glue is completely gone clear. Wait until it's dry enough so that it's not smushing 
but it's still somewhat wet. Then when you press this foil on, it'll just come off all in. This was all done each with one try, so it works out really good. And then you can see here, see how it's gone clear? That's what's happened. It's just torn the foil away from here. And then you can just keep using it until there's nothing left on here. So you can really get a lot of use out of this. And I'm going to include a still picture of the the little Easter egg coloring kit that I got it from because it was like less than two bucks. I got it at Walmart. So, um, and it comes with silver, gold, blue, purple, pink, and green foil. So, there's like 10 sheets. So, it works out really good. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is, and I'll also include, like I said, a link for that, um, the glue that I use. And there's different sizes. They sell different sizes, so you can get pretty much whatever you want for you, fits your budget. So I'm going to put the top coat over the top, let it dry, and I won't do anything else to these because this has got enough personality and that foil, the foiling will really shine a lot. So that, this will be a glitter-free design. Can you believe it? <laughs> Okay, one last thing I wanted to tell you guys, too, is that be sure when you're not using the glue you keep this really tightly sealed, and the best way to keep this in good condition is to then put it into a Ziploc bag or something to keep it airtight when you're not using it so that it doesn't dry out. And this is probably the middle size bottle. This was about 6 50, I believe. Um, they do make a smaller one in like little sample sizes. And then your brush, if you're going to use some sort of paintbrush that you want to use again, be sure to wash this off while it's still flexible. Warm water and soap is fine, but you need to get all the glue out of it, otherwise you'll end up ruining your brush. So that's just another thing that you need to know about that. But that is all. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.